the weather that we're glad that we live in El Paso. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, we have some very cold temperatures here for the rest of the country. In fact, winter is already here for much of the United States, mm -hmm. except for El Paso, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. We are definitely looking at those temperatures right now, looking at 60 degrees in El Paso, 40 in Albuquerque, 53 in Phoenix, and that is just here in the southern part of the United States. We go further north, single digits for our friends in Denver, one degree in Billings, Montana. We move further east and check this out. Minus six degrees in Minneapolis. We're looking at zero in Bismarck and we continue to stay in those single digits as we make our way through the east. Of course, we start getting closer into those above freezing temperatures as we make our way over into the east coast, southeast part of the United States. But this all gives you a good idea that winter is here. This next winter storm system is definitely going to be bringing in and packing in a punch as we see some very cold dense air moving through. Now, you'll notice that it'll try to get into El Paso, but not really. We have this little dip right here, if you will, upside down dip. That's a high pressure that's going to stay right over our area, and that's going to give us an opportunity to truly see beautiful weather for at least one more day before we get to feel that cold from moving through. And as we move ahead, we do expect to feel a little bit of that chill coming in on Wednesday. So let's talk about those temperatures right now. 60 degrees in El Paso, westerly winds at about 9 miles per hour. So beautiful night. Today we ended up being 10 degrees above average. 61 is normal for this time of year. 71 is what we registered. And we were 6 degrees below our record set in 1890. This morning we woke up to about 38 degrees. 36 is seasonal. And as we look into tonight, we're forecast. 37 degrees, so very much around average for El Paso. 34 in Las Cruces, above freezing, and about 36 in Juarez. Looking into tomorrow, we're forecasting a high of 62 degrees, southeasterly winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour, so a beautiful day with really nice, calm winds. And then going into the rest of the region, we're forecasting 60 degrees in Las Cruces, 61 in Juarez. Now, what's going to happen is this we actually have quite a bit of winter storm warnings and watches for much of the country, especially here in Texas. So we're looking at everything that's purple. That's a winter storm watch. Everything that's in pink, that's a winter storm warning. And so we are definitely looking at the possibility of snow. We have heavy snowfall coming down in the heart of Texas, Dallas, Austin. They get to see those uh, potential snow chances on Wednesday going into Thursday. And then you'll look at El Paso. We do have some possible snow uh, chances for our friends in Hudspeth, County, but that's as far as we go. We really don't expect to see a lot of snow chances for El Paso or Las Cruces for that matter. As for the rest of your nine day forecast, we're expecting to dip to about 55 degrees on Wednesday. I went ahead and included that 10% chance, but that's for rain, and that's mainly in the afternoon hours. If anything, we'll see a few drops coming down. I don't really expect us to see a lot of rainfall that day. We are looking at 59 on Thursday, 64 Friday, and then windy conditions on Saturday as our next system moves in. We're looking at those upper 60s for the beginning of next week. I do want to give a big shout out to our weather watcher tonight. This one goes to our very loyal weather watcher, Pam Miller. Thank you so much for allowing us to see this beautiful view from Las Cruces. Just a gorgeous shot. And if you would like to be featured on KTSM 9 News, go ahead and submit those beautiful weather photos to us through our social media platforms or email. News at KTSM.com. We'll be right back.